Hello, my friend. First of all, well done on getting PMP certified. Those of you who have gotten certified over the past number of years on my watch, you watch my videos, you got certified, well done. Those of you who used other solutions and may not have heard about me, I'd like to also congratulate you. It's a huge, huge endeavor. It's big. I don't think you know how big it is. Now, I know over the past number of weeks, there's been talk about the PMI and the 50th anniversary and all that kind of stuff. It's a great organization. It's a great certification. But your career, in my mind, to me, is even more important. Certification is great. Competency is a different thing. Lots of you got certified. Great. The next step is to begin to dominate. Dominate your space using what you know. If you cannot use what you know to dominate your space, it's useless. So you need to step up and start being the leader you are. Start living it. If you truly, truly do understand all that you studied, you've truly mastered this thing called the PMBOK guide, right? You've truly mastered not just the plan-driven, but also everything between the plan-driven and the agile, everything in between, the hybridization. If you truly, truly have mastered this stuff, I want you to dominate your space. That's what's next. Space domination. What do I mean by this? You're a project manager in a company and projects aren't being run the right way, you need to be concerned about that. You need to be upset about that. If projects are being run ad hoc and you know, people are just spilling away the money, the revenues on goofy projects that are not being managed properly, someone's trying to fit an agile peg into a fully plan-driven hole or trying to fit a fully plan-driven peg into an agile hole, you should be concerned about it because that's not the way the game is played. You got to make sure you tailor your processes. So all this stuff you've learned, all this stuff you know, are you pragmatizing it? Are you using it? Are you practicalizing it? Are you taking on the tough jobs, the tough projects that no one else wants to take on? Everyone's ducking and running for the hills because of that project. You, project manager, should be taking on those projects, those programs. You got to grow. Stop doing the tiny little $1, $2 pro programs and projects. Do the big things that everyone runs away from. It's going to help you. Why am I so passionate about this? Why do I seem so crazy and all over the place? Because I want you on the next level. And the next level is you bossing up and saying, I'm a PMP. I'm, project, I'm a project manager. I understand this stuff. I can do it. But it's not so much of being a PMP. It's about using the knowledge you got in your head. Like someone throws you a project that's very difficult and complicated. You should be relishing that opportunity. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity for you to shine and add value. So when someone brings a, a project that is all over the place with the 12-headed beast of a project, <laughs> you know, that kind of project, you need to be saying, yeah, bring it on, baby. Bring it on, bring it on. I'll take you. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a few licks. Your head will be spinning. I can take you on because I know what I know and I can do what I can do. I can do what I know. I can practicalize what I know. A lot of folks have knowledge, but they don't make it practical. They haven't ever used it. That should not be the case for you. I want you to use what you know. So start taking on the big projects. Let me tell you why I get a lot of kickback from people that are not in the world of the PMI. They say, Phil, this stuff is all hogwash. It doesn't make sense. It's, it, it's all blowing things out of proportion. You know, someone put up a notice the other day on one of the videos and said, I can't believe some idiots are studying for this exam. It is so easy. It's so basic. And I said, I can't believe someone would be an idiot to think you didn't need to study for something like that. So my point is that this stuff that you're studying, to an idiot, they wouldn't know why on earth you're, you're studying this. They would look at it as being easy until you practicalize it. You got a 20-headed beast of a project that is throwing the company all over the place. You should understand how to get that project back in alignment. You should be able to whip that project back into alignment. Not everybody can do that.
What do you think the plethora of tools and techniques in the PMBOK guide are for? They're for you to use. Simple tools. There are a lot of simple tools that people don't use. A lot of simple concepts people don't use. I want you to begin using these concepts. I'm going to give you a few, just a few. The first one is a work breakdown structure. Tell me, project manager, when last did you create a WBS for your project? When? Let me ask you another question. When last did you get everyone into a room and say, I would like you to participate in the creation of the WBS for just one hour. It will help realign all of our focuses and perspectives and put us all on the same page and then lead the workshop like someone who knows what they're doing. When last did you do that? That's how you lead in this space, my friend. You don't become a leader in the space of project management by just sitting on your hind end in the office and cranking out emails ad nauseum. That's not how you do it. You got to get up from behind the desk and practicalize and pragmatize this stuff. Simple WBS. It could get you so further ahead on the project. Aligning focuses. That's one, just one. Let me ask you another one. Project manager, when last did you intentionally craft some sort of time management mechanism like a schedule that people bought into and were there with you in the thick of it, trying to unravel the dependencies and the relationships? When last did you tell people, I would like to organize this session it doesn't have to be what your PMO does. It's what you do. Those are two things. The WBS and the schedule. Those are big leadership power moves. No WBS, get one. I'm not talking about a seven-level WBS. No schedule, get one. I'm not talking about a crazy 20,000-line long schedule like the one I developed when putting together a schedule for a weapon system. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just scale it to your project within reason. Don't go off into loopy land. You know, one of the reasons why people run away from some of us is because we're loopy about this stuff. We're not pragmatic. We're just loopy. We're, we're weird. Don't get weird on people, okay? If a three-level WBS is what you need, do it, okay? Don't go crazy and say, oh, it has to be seven levels. Says who? Or five levels. No. A simple, it's simple. It's to put everyone on the same page. It's to position you as the leader and at the same time, get everyone aligned so that the project becomes easier. Two simple things, two. I know a lot of people will snub their nose at it, but these are simple things that a lot of people do not do. I'm not saying do it like a robot. Oh, WBS, WBS, no. I'm creating a work breakdown structure so that all of our perspectives are aligned so that we're on the same page, so we understand how to allocate resources, so that we understand where our project is going, where our project is headed. That's really what I'm looking for from you. I'm not looking for you to get all crazy about this stuff, you know, in a weird sort of way, but I'm looking for you to bring it, order, structure, governance, leadership. That's the next level. PMP is great. This is the next level. PMP is great, but pragmatizing, what is in your book here? I hope you haven't thrown it away. I hope it's still your book. That's what it is. Two things. One more thing, and then I'll leave it for today. I gotta to get off my soapbox, so I'll be here for the next hour. The next thing I need you to step up in is leadership. That's right, leadership. Are you a leader? That's my question to you, project manager. Are you really demonstrating leadership in your firm? Are you exemplifying leadership? Are people following you? John Maxwell says, he who thinks he leadeth, but has no one following after him is only taking a walk. A lot of PMs are just taking walks. Some of them are still sitting down on their seat in the office. They don't like the interpersonal human interrelationships. They get scared of talking to people. Oh, they're just people of us. No, that's not you. If you want to be a boss after you get certified, you got to dominate in the area of interpersonal relationships. 
Research done by the Stanford Research Institute showed that success was 87.5 relationships, only 12.5 skills in the technical realm or products. It's all about the relationships. That is what success in business is about. And leadership is all about interrelationships. Lots of interrelationships. Slowing down and understanding that your stakeholders are the reason why you are the project manager. They are the reason why you're the VP of project management. They're the reason why you're the VP of special projects. Whatever your title is, it's stakeholders. And we need to effectively lead. There's a misconception that leading is managing. So people feel, oh, I can't lead because my stakeholders are more senior than I am. It's ridiculous. No, leadership is not coercing people. It's not the same as managing a system, a process, or a procedure. It's all about interpersonal relationships, communicating on their level, having some empathy to understand that the client really needs something. Are you going to deliver? Are you going to slow down? Are you going to come to their level? Are you going to amp up and accelerate because you've got that interpersonal understanding about why you are there. Some people have no clue why they are there. You're there to lead. And I talk about this quite a lot. I talk about John Maxwell's five levels of leadership. Level one is position. Level two is all about likability. People follow you because they like you. So at level two, you gotta get that interpersonal thing going. The people part of the equation. Level three is all about what you've done for the firm, it's production. Level four is all about what you've done for people, pouring back into people. Just those four things, if you're able to be great at them, one, you've got your position, it is what it is. Two, likability, you've got to work on that, be likable. Show some empathy, show some emotional intelligence, okay? Level three, production. If you ain't getting stuff done, people aren't respecting you like, they should. Should they? Why should they? You got the certification, but what do you have to show for it in the company? You know, there are a lot of PMs that have got those badges. I see them as like generals in the world of project management. They got badges. They got battle scars from the world of project management. Are you one of them? Have you done the tough stuff? Have you failed? Leaders fail. Leaders have been down the failure path. People, I don't care whatever the industry, whatever the field, they've failed more than they've succeeded, but they're looked at as leaders. Case in point, Michael Jordan. A lot of failed shots, but it's the shots he made that count. For you, it's the projects that you hit home runs in. But you gotta, you gotta step out and do the hard stuff. So level three, the production level, you gotta work on that. Level four, people level. Are you mentoring, training, coaching, imparting back into people in the firm? If you're not, it's something you should be doing. And level five is the embodiment of everything from one to four. Five is the pinnacle, but you don't get there in a day. And, you know, you keep working at it because one slip up and you're back down to level one, just level one. So you want, you want to make sure you work on leadership. You know, John says leadership develops daily not in a day. You've got to work your leadership daily. Don't take it for granted like, oh, I've got buy and everyone's bought into me. No, you, in, in a few, in a matter of minutes or hours, all of that could come crumbling down with one wrong move. So, so really project managers, what I want you to do is to live like a boss. And living like a boss is being a leader, stepping up to the plate, pragmatizing the Pembroke guy. Please pragmatize what you have learned. Pragmatize it, all right? Have a WBS, have a schedule. That's all I'm asking for, for now. In my next episode, I, of course, will have more things to ask from you. But for now, I'm just asking for those two. Work them. You've got a new project, work those. You know, maybe it's an agile project. Okay, have a burn down chart. Do you have that? What about a Kanban board? Do you have that? Whatever you need to do to keep these items straight, do it, do it, do it. Have your backlog. If it's not the wieldy world of scope, in a different world somewhere, have your backlog. I don't care, whatever it is, but I'm really keen on the leadership piece. I want you to dominate in that field. I want you to step up. I want you to exemplify great leadership. You know, leadership is not asking people 
to do stuff and beating them over the head with a stick. It's not. Leadership is inspiration. In the words of Steve Jobs, it's really more about making people do what they never even imagined they could do. Making them blow their own minds. That's what leadership is. So I want you to exemplify great leadership. I am so delighted you're a PMP. It is awesome. It, it deserves a resounding round of applause. Yes, 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 yes. I could clap for you till tomorrow, but I want you to go to the next level to dominate. Take on the hard projects, volunteer for the hard projects, seek out the hard projects, be a project, crazy project bounty hunter. I want you to bring back the crazy projects, get them in shape, get them aligned and move on to find the next one. That's what you need to do. And if you're already into the world of portfolio and program management, I want you to exemplify great leadership alongside whatever you're doing. Leadership. Don't forget the people. It's all about the people. Remember the five levels? Kill it. All right? If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. If you have not hit like, please do so. If you have not shared this video, what are you waiting for? Your buddies who are project managers also need to hear it. And if there's a topic you want me to cover on the channel, anything you want me to talk about outside of getting ready for the PMP exam, like, tell me, tell me, what are you going through right now in your project management that you want me to focus on? What is it? What is new in your world? Drop me a line below. Hey, if you've watched this video up till now, I want you to drop me a line below. Tell me what you're looking for. I'll make sure I get it to you. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.